What is up today? I wanted to show off this project that I created in Godot. It is a 3D dungeon generation system, lethal company style, that allows you to create these 3D dungeons that you can walk through and explore that are randomized and randomly generated each time. Um, the way it works is it has a set of prefab rooms that it uses each time and then it will randomly place them and then connect them together with corridors like you're seeing here, um, long hallways to connect them together. And based on the algorithm that I created to connect all these together, it will have a multi-level, fully connected, fully explorable 3D dungeon. So when I first started trying to tackle this project, I couldn't find any similar tutorials or anything online. So I started with a 2D version of the problem. And the basic idea is that I just spawn a bunch of different sized rooms into the level. And then I check if they're overlapping. And for the cases where two rooms are overlapping, like these two rooms right here, I basically just push them away from each other based on their center of mass. So because this one is to the left and slightly above this one, it's gonna go this way. And this one will just go the opposite way. And I basically just continue this process repeatedly for all the rooms and eventually they sort themselves out and they all become separated. And then you get a nice distribution of rooms in the dungeon. You can also run into some situations like this where all the rooms fail to separate. And the solution for that is just to run the algorithm a couple times and with different room placements. And after a couple times, you'll run into a configuration that works and the rooms are able to separate properly. Once all the rooms have been nicely separated like this, it's basically just a case of using a pathfinding algorithm to connect all their doors together. In this case, the green and yellow spots are doors, yellow being optional and green being necessary doors that we need to connect. In addition to connecting all the rooms, one important thing is to make sure all the rooms are actually reachable from each other. And you can see it's not perfect in this prototype that there are still some cases where you'll run into islands like this one which are not reachable from the rest of the dungeon. So to solve this problem and make sure all rooms and floors are connected, we can use a really basic algorithm called union find. The basic idea is we keep these pools or sets of trees of all the nodes and each tree's root is always going to be the lowest node value within that tree. So when we're connecting two trees of nodes together, we basically run through the tree and set all nodes to whatever the lowest value is in the new tree. This way we can keep a list of rooms and floors that still need to be connected. Here's the code for the class that I used to do this. The dungeon is gonna be made up of these prefab rooms that are predefined with doors and in different shapes and sizes. And here you can see for the 3D version of the algorithm, it's basically the same idea, um, but in 3D. I place a bunch of rooms just as before in 2D, and then I use the same separation algorithm of just pushing them apart from each other, and then I connect them with these corridors to make it fully explorable. In 3D, there's also the case of there needing to be stairs between floors, and that is a similar problem to the one of all the dungeon rooms on each floor being reachable, and there's no isolated islands. It's really important for all the different floors to be reachable if it's like a large vertical dungeon. Um, so I'll talk about how I solved that next. So to start off the algorithm, obviously we're going to place a bunch of rooms. And then after we've placed all of our normal rooms, the next task is going to be to place stairs in the dungeon. And now this is gonna be a pretty straightforward application of our union find algorithm. We're simply going to keep track of which floors of the dungeon are already connected by stairs, which span two floors. And we'll just keep going up the chain and adding stair rooms until all the floors of the dungeon are connected. And for connecting rooms on the same floor, it's basically gonna be the same concept. We're gonna keep a list of rooms in a union find list and keep connecting them with a pathfinding algorithm until they're all connected. Fortunately, this algorithm adapts easily to dungeons of different shapes and sizes with any different room types. 
This leads to some interesting possibilities for procedural level generation. Moving over to Godot, the structure I used for the actual Godot add-on portion of this is I have these dungeon kit prefab scenes which define each of the rooms inside of the dungeon or for the dungeon to use. And I basically just create all of the rooms individually that I want the dungeon to be able to spawn in and I connect them all together. The initial placement in this uh, Prefab scene doesn't matter, this is just to get an idea of how they fit together. But I define these rooms of different shapes and sizes with doors, and each door can either be a required or optional door. So for instance, this orange piece is the corridor or hallway portion, which is going to connect all the rooms together. So all the doors on this room are optional. And then in the editor, when you spawn a dungeon generator instance, which we will actually use in the levels to spawn in the dungeons and run the algorithm, it gives you this preview scene, which allows you to see kind of the size and shape of the dungeon and how it's going to look. And it runs the exact same algorithm that I just described pretty much, but within Godot, and it spawns in prefab scenes for each of the rooms. And this results in this same um, fully explorable dungeon thing that uh, you can use in your levels in Godot. Of course, you can use it with actual 3D models. So here's a little mock-up I made of an example dungeon, um, which uses real 3D models from a free 3D model set I found online. Here are the individual pieces of the models I used to piece together Lego style for this dungeon here. And we have all the same rooms. Here's our corridor or hallway room. Here's our stair room. We have a hallway room here, a little greeting area with a friendly little skeleton here. Here there's a trapdoor room. There's a longer hallway room with spikes and there's a treasure room. So you can see how you could um, swap out different types of rooms for whatever type of game that you're creating. And when generating dungeons, you can just swap out the dungeon kit and it will select the rooms that you provide and create a dungeon using those rooms of whatever dimensions that you specify. And yeah, pretty quick with these new 3D models. Um, to make it actually look professional pretty quickly we get something that looks pretty nice and we get a nice kind of maze thing that's pretty easy to get lost in and offers a lot of room for exploration
And yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to leave a link to the GitHub repo with this Godot add-on available for free for you to use if you want. Um, I hope you enjoy and hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and hopefully I can help. And thanks for watching.